It is time once again for the Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. And that's not just a phrase that I say over and over. It has intentional meaning. We, as followers of Jesus Christ, need to do the work necessary to daily get our minds in sync with His. Because as we do so, He will lead us in our lives in ways that are full of faith, full of power, full of significance, and full of purpose. We're looking today at Psalm chapter 90, and this is just a wonderful psalm that fills us in on who our God is. It lays out who he is. And this one has an interesting caption at the top of it. It says, a prayer of Moses, the man of God. So this wasn't actually put on paper or on parchment at the time of Moses, but it's like a recounting of a prayer that he said that they must have had access to. And so the psalmist writes it down. And here we're going to read all 17 verses. It says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are brought to an end by your anger. By your wrath we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days pass away under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are seventy, or even by reason of strength, eighty. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? So, teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord. How long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Now that is a very wordy psalm, all just to say that God is, is mighty, and we are small. Our lives are very short by comparison to his eternal existence. And the psalmist is saying, God, teach us how to view our lives rightly. That's what that phrase in verse 12 means when he says, teach us to number our days. Help us look at our lives rightly so that we may get a heart of wisdom. What is wisdom about? It's about living rightly in light of the facts that you see. And this psalmist is saying, I see that my life is very short, that there are lots of things going on all around me that demonstrate that fact. And I need wisdom to know how to live this life the way that I should. Does that resonate with you? Boy, it sure does to me. I mean, here I am, I've pushed past 50 years of age. I'm at the point that I know there aren't many days left. I know that time is fleeting. It's going quickly. And I want my life to count for something toward eternal significance. I pray that would be your heart today as well and that you would turn to the Lord and you would ask him like the psalmist, Lord, teach me what I need to know about this fleeting life so that I can get a heart of wisdom. Today, that wisdom's available for you, my friend. Walk in it and join me again tomorrow.